I'm back now. So I was able to get my tree now completely finished. As you can see, there is no more loose strands on here. What I'm going to do now is I've noticed certain branches are closer to others. I wanted a little spaced out. So as I was saying, now this is your chance to kind of tweak how you want your branches appearing. I like this thicker wire, like I said, just because I'm able to manipulate it better without it breaking on me. So I'll see kind of how I got a big open spot on this side here. So all I'm going to do is I'll take my clamp, my wires, kind of manipulate how I want this coming a bit. Make a little bend. And now I've opened up that section to be a little more full or fuller. I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm just going to bend it up a bit. And as you can see on here, we've got a full branched tree. So the next part we're going to need to go over and do is start to get the clay and I'm kicking my dog in the head because like I said she's under my feet and keeps on moving her head into my feet so right now I'm just getting out my clay and this is the stuff you do not want to use I mean do not want to use at all if you can avoid it once I'm done using this clay I will never use this stuff again ever 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 Michael's clay the stuff I'm about to show you is not worth purchasing for this type of project so this is the stuff right here that I got from Michael's it was only 14 or 15 dollars and I actually got it free with using a bunch of coupons so the first thing I'm actually going to do here is I've got a little container that I like to use and I'm going to take some water because you're going to need water as you're manipulating around with this. So I'm just putting my water in here so I can get my fingers worked. <clears throat> I'm going to open up my clay, which I'm not even halfway through, and I've probably done three dozen, four dozen trees, uh, about two dozen, and I have two and a half dozen trees with this. Oh, yeah, this stuff's not the easiest to try to work with once it. Holy cow, I did. I was stuck in here. So here's my bag of clay. It'd be easier to just break off having it out of the box and in the box. Holy cow. I've never had a problem with my clay like this before, and even though it is not the greatest of clay. I should have my knife around here for oh, is this knife right here just cutting the corners off of here to give me a nice amount of clay to work with leave out my bag so it doesn't dry out and the first thing that I usually start off here just because I like to get a little bit of a base going is I take my clay oh where did I put my paper just give me a quick second here, popping off and back on again. Just so I don't have this dicking down onto my desk. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just a little bit here and try to... I'm missing a few things that's usually on my desk. I take it my kids were around here screwing around. I'm just going to get this a little wet and try to slightly roll, uh, roll this a bit. And I don't mind it. All I want to do is try to get enough out for the base of my tree. Not usually what I use, but 
Okay, so as you can see, as I push down, oh, and this is usually why I use paper, because it works better. I start off, oh, I got a little paper that'll be covered up easy. And I just take any of my overhangs and kind of flip them over the branches I had going. Or base I have going and I just kind of work it in a little water to make it a little more workable and because you're going to see it's sticking oh, where did my camera part go let's do it this way as you can see, some of this isn't completely covered, so I'm going to take some more clay. Oh, I just lost it. Oops, I just lost my homemade foam base. So as I go around, I'm just going to start covering up some of this stuff that was a little exposed. Just had a few distractions here. Don't mind my smoking. So I've got my base for now how I want it. I've got it all covered up on the bottom. I'm not too worried about the messiness right now because I will be adding to it. Usually I do taller trees with more branches but because I'm trying to just get a quick video in on how to work with this I'm doing a simpler tree, so usually I just come around to where my back is and I try to find my base. And one of the reasons why I said don't worry about the bottom is it does kind of take water again and smooth where I'm coming up on the tops here. You're definitely going to need water, especially working with this crappy Michael's clay. As I try to work it around, it's already losing some of its workability. Good morning, Jackie Paul. Okay, so here we go. We're starting to get it wanting to mold the way I want. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a working with my finger turning it around to try to not have as many top notch. Hangovers. I just try to make sure I get my base all covered, and as you can see right down here, some of the clay isn't going over the base. So I'm just going to try to take my fingers best I can. And <coughs> this clay down a little bit because I don't need huge bulges. Going to just take a little bit more here because for some reason that just does not want to cover the section I've got going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it going around and then I'll take my water and smooth it some just to get it going in with that base. Okay, as you can see, I've got some overhang up on the top. I actually don't get rid of that. I usually just start folding it in, trying to give it an area for the others to clay to grab onto. So we got the base going here. I'm going to start working on bottom branches and make my way up to the top. Can you stop moving into my feet and pushing on there? My dog under the desk again. Thinks my foot's in the way, yet she keeps on going into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this branch right here. What I like to do is I try to get a thinner 
piece on the bottom just so it can blend in to the push it up a little bit to get it catching on to the little overhang that I had that I said I don't like to clip off. Okay, and this is usually where I find this clay starts going to crap in a hand basket. Dries out way too quick and does not give you enough time to really work with it. Which is not the greatest. Next time I heard a lot of people say the Walmart clay is actually pretty decent so I'm going to try their clay next. Yeah, so I'm going to try to work this in. I don't want this like super thick here. So as you see I'm getting little branches and I keep on using my water just to dab up because this stuff dries pretty quick which is not cool as I was saying. Okay so I'm going to get around some of the tuck in if I can See, as I'm covering these little tips up, I'm going to actually try to make them a little bit flatter. Kind of like that, so the branches stay on better. Okay, let's get that little corner here. I usually like to come around just on the bottom because it's easier to see what I'm doing. And underneath you want to make sure your grooves here or these little spots. Take some water and just slightly go over and try to edge it in. <coughs> See how I'm doing this nice and easy, just going over a little bit easier patches first. Find if you try to go from the top to bottom, like I've done once, you just start knocking off this clay. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll do this branch, just finish it off here, and then I will turn off the camera and let it go through and fix up these trees. See already again this clay is not wanting to work nice and drying out. And this is why I had nothing but problems with this clay the whole time. Yeah, see I need to peel this off, start around the base. Because this is already starting to get too dry. So once again do not buy the cheapest of Michael's clay trying to save a few dollars because yeah it just makes a complete complete pain in the ass to try to get these trees clayed over once again a little bit of water to kind of smooth in and joint those edges I made make it all like one piece I don't get too concerned really with this when it doesn't work that way just because I do have to go over again and do a fix up because yeah this clay sucks major ass. And this is why I wanted to do a video on this is because I see so much videos with good clay and not dealing with bad clay and how to do a tree because already you can see up in this area drying out and going to want to crack so which is uh, no good for train making is it guys okay so I'm going to come underneath the one area that didn't want to stick on for me and already I'm having a hard time with this clay drying again Bit of water, a lot of water. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to work for me. Seems the more water I put on here, the better I get it to play. Even though I've used much better clay in the past, that 
doesn't work like this and works much better like you see on other tutorials okay so flip it around I'm going to pinch off do a little close on this side and there is my first branch I'm just going to play with it a bit trying to you'll notice a lot of this stuff here covering up with your foliage when you start putting it on so you're not let me see if I can get a smaller one that's not glued down yet <coughs> excuse me you're going to see here let's move this one you'll see underneath on these that you really can't notice any of the cracking that's gone on well, I do see I need to go underneath this one and finish covering up where I had to use some glue because I haven't finished that tree off I was just showing you yet. That one was my latest that I've been making. And I better throw the clump of clay I have back into the bag and cover it and just wrap a little bit out because this shit is already starting to dry on me. Yeah, see this will dry on about 15 minutes max. If I don't keep on playing it and getting it moving. So I'll get one more branch done here with you guys. And I'm most likely just going to fast forward once I get to my editing stage. So I kind of see. So I'm going to get some moving out here. I want to make sure it's not going to break on me. And what I like to do with the longer branches is I like to try to get it all at one go and not. I found if I don't I have a harder time getting it to stick to the next section so I push down and these overhangs I have like this just try to pinch my finger over and then kind of pull it over like this so and work off of it that way oh and my separate window It's still pretty early here, just after 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let's get some water going here, because I waited too long. I can already see this crap drying out. So I'm going to throw some water on top of what is just work, working. Oh. See how crappy this clay is? next video series I'm going to do will be I'll probably go out tomorrow and pick up some better clay and then I can actually do a really good video on how to do trees without having to jimmy rig them and fix them up oh crap like this stuff just is near impossible to work with I'm not sure about you guys over in the UK or the States if you guys have got Michaels but for us Canadian guys Michaels is usually a pretty good craft store I just think I got the crap the crap on clay sadly okay there we go starting to get it to work for me now this is one project for the hasty train maker that isn't hasty going through this is actually one of the few projects that takes me time to do which drives my wife crazy because I kind of go a wall. Okay, there we go. Now I've got it drying up a bit more. Pinch around the bud where the tree's going to go. Or the tree. This is the tree where the branch is going. Or the branch. Holy cow! Time to go back to bed, Bruce. Okay, let's. This is drying off right around the branch again. Okay, we got that section done. Oof. How I love Michael's clay. If anyone uses Michael's clay and knows a better clay to use, to suggest, I would love you guys to give me some suggestions on Michael's, because the place I go to, otherwise the hobby store, where I get my Warhammer and War Game, or, uh, World War II, World War One games 
doesn't carry clay. It's a little shockingly considering that they carry flock and everything else, but they seem to be more into selling their pre-made trees, which are like, in my opinion, absolutely crazy price. Paying $20 a tree for something that's manufactured and not handmade kind of just gives me the creepies. All right, so I'm gonna just finish off this last branch here and we'll just kind of fast forward through till the finish stage. And hopefully my wife last night when I asked her to pick me up some more brown paint, pick me up some brown paint because I am out. So if she has, and what I'll do is that tree I have painted but not finished doing the uh, shrub or foliage is the word I'm looking for. I'll just use that as the one I'm going to flock for you guys. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get in between my branches here and make them less bulky and smoother into the hole or into the grooves. Right, kind of like that. And this will be my last part before I just quickly barrel through this and start laying it dry so I can go over with some glue. Hot glue. At first I thought it was going to be chintzy and look like crap, to be honest with you guys, when I first started. But yeah, it actually kind of came out pretty good. Alright, so I don't have that properly placed over. Let's do a little fold here. Oh, okay. I'm actually getting lucky with this so far, and it's working really quick before trying to dry out on me. Water on the bottom, seal into it, smooth out those grooves I made around it, adding clay. She's, she's sleeping underneath my desk on my feet. <laughs> 